care how I'll do it, sister, as long as it's done. But I'll tell you how I'll do it. I'll lift this stick and take a long swipe at the sky and let down a shower of hailstones as big as cantaloupes. And I'll shout out some good old Nebraska cuss words. And you'll turn around and there's a, there's a lake where your corral used to be. Or I'll sing a little tune maybe. It'll sound so sad and so sweet that you'll weep and your old man will weep and the sky will get all misty-like and shed the prettiest tears you ever did see. How I'll do it? Girl, I'll just do it. Sister, the last place I brought rain to is now called Starbuck. They named it after me. Dry? Those people didn't have enough damp to blink their eyes. So I'd get up my big wheel and my rolling drum and my, my yellow hat with the three feathers in it. And I look up the sky and I say, Cumulus! Cumulonimulus! Nimulocumulus. And pretty soon, way up there, there's a tiny little cloud, about the size of a mare's tail. And then over there, another one looking like a, a white wasp chicken house. Then I look up, and I see a herd of white buffalo stampeding across the sky. And then, sister of all good people, down comes the rain. Rain in buckets, rain in barrels, flooding the lowlands and filling the gullies and the land is as green as the Valley of Adam. When I rode out of there, turned around, and I saw the prettiest colors in the sky, purple, green, blue, gold. Colors that, are, that make you cry. And me, me, I'm riding right through that rainbow. Nice? Okay, wait, one second here, one second. This, this nice we're talking about, don't be nice, Jack. <laughs> this nice has a bad name, uh, to say the goddamn least. I mean, you see, women, to generalize, hate nice. No, uh, they like it in clerks, they like it in auto mechanics, but, but nice guys finish last, right? Why? Because uh, nice is generally thought to lack complexity, mystery. Nice just, it, it has no sex appeal. So women distrust nice because given the cultural context, they themselves cannot possibly be nice. I mean, how can the powerless be nice? What good is nice to the exploited? So women loathe nice because they see they know what a phony mask it is in their own lives, so when they perceive it in a man, it just pisses them off. What they prefer are abused qualities moderated by charm. Well, because they themselves are abused personalities, given the culture. But you know what? I don't buy it, because there is another nice. It's a hard one, complex, covered with blood and gore nice. A uh, steel-willed, utterly crucial, and necessary nice that says to the skags in the motorcycle gang, F you and the hogs you rode in on. You see, I stand for hope and for reason and concern. You see, I raised the fallen banner high, Jill. Uh, so shoot me, uh, stab me, uh, satirize me, uh, go screw the four horsemen of the apocalypse if that's what turns you on. I'm nice. Sorry. Okay. I'm nice. My mistress, with a monster in it, love, knew to her close and consecrated bower while she was in her dull and sleeping hour. A crew of patches, rude mechanicals that work for bread upon Athenian stalls were mapped together 
to rehearse a play intended for great Theseus's nuptial day. The shallowest thick skin of that barren sort and Pyramus presented in their sport, forsook his sum and entered in a break when I did him in this advantage take. An ass's roll I fixed on his head, and on his thisbe must be answered, and forth my mimic come. When they him spy as wild geese that the creeping fowler eye, or russet pated coughs, many in sort, rising and kind at the gun's report. Sever themselves and madry sweep the sky, so at his sight away his fellows fly, and at our stamp here o'er and o'er one falls. He murder cries and help from Athens calls. Their sense thus weak, best within their fears, thus strong, made senseless things begin to do them wrong, for briars and thorns at their apparel snatch, some sleeves, some hats, from yielders all things catch. I led them on in this distracted fear, and left sweet Pyramus translated there, when in that moment, so it came to pass, Titania waked, and straightway loved an ass. I've been trying to remember what this town was like when I was a kid. I mean, this was everything to me. A whole world that consisted of a strip of highway where somebody put up a stoplight and a street name and a caution, children crossing sign. I don't know when all that changed. I guess it slid away a little bit at a time. Slipped away with each little lie. You know, the lie about Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and the Tooth Fairy and the Ten Commandments. Little lies, little cracks in this perfect little world. And you start to wonder, Maybe all that stuff about the big bad world and home sweet home is a lie too. Makes you wonder. I know I did. <laughs> yeah, I know. You think I'm crazy. Well, maybe. But I do know that once innocence dies, it's gone. You can never get back inside. The closest you can come is to be aware of the absence of innocence the empty place where it used to be. When you first become aware of the world out there, you think you can handle it, and you want more of it and more of it. And this place becomes so small, and you become so big by comparison, and we tell each other things like, like, you have nothing to fear except fear itself, and you can do whatever you want if you just believe. All you have to do is just walk right out to the town limits and throw yourself off. And as simple as that sounds, it scared half of us into staying and wishing we could get out, and half of us into leaving and wishing we could get back inside. 